Hey guys, good morning and welcome to Pond Bank Farms. So my brother's on vacation today, so I am on full choring duty. Right now I gotta get the heifers bedded up and then I have to work on chores in the barn. That will be followed of course by milking tonight. So stick around and enjoy the video. Now, if I remember right, there's an adjustment in here to tighten up the belts in here. So let me quick give you a rundown of how this fan works while we're looking in here. So these belts here are what drive it. Um, this is what drives the fan. And this down here is the shaft that comes in by the PDO. So when this is loose, which is when these pulleys are pulled apart this belt's loose and then it just um spins there and it doesn't grab when you tighten it up they push together and they start spinning the fan they tighten the belts up basically start spinning the fan right now the problem is is this is as tight as they go right now and you can see the belts are very loose um it was working just not very well so i'm i know there's a way to tighten that and i kind of forget i'm just looking here seeing if i can figure that out so I gotta see if I can get inside to show you here. Oh yeah, okay, so there's these little, these here are um, what it comes against, so it can't go any tighter. So on this side, they're on both sides, I uh, brought that in a bit. And we're gonna see if that's better now. We got that fixed now. Excuse the dirty windows, but it's hard to keep uh, these windows clean. Okay, we gotta get feed mix now. Whew, it is a warm one today. Corn should be liking this. Okay, I just got done finishing bedding up the cows. And it's already milking time. So, we're gonna get started with that. Should probably actually feed them right away. Okay, we are pulling the header out because I gotta get behind it and it won't be too long anymore before we're actually combining, so. Gonna pull it out and we gotta do a bit of work on it sometimes as well. Okay, that'll be okay there for now. I got a freezer I gotta get out because dad's get picking up uh, some chickens we got butchered tomorrow. So dad was milking for me for a bit tonight while I was getting the header out and stuff. And we got a young a young guy from the area that helps most nights. So um, he's helping us. And uh, usually we milk with two people. Good morning. It is that time of the morning. Time to milk. Well, we just started milking here this morning. And dad's gonna be helping me in a bit here. He's just uh, giving some calves some medicine. Okay, 
Okay, Gareth's finishing the milk house. And I gotta put water in yet. I got the feed mix. I just gotta put water in and unload it and feed the cows yet. So far the steering pump is not leaking. For those of you who know, we've had a lot of issues with it leaking. Got it fixed and uh, maybe it's fixed for good this time. We hope. Looks like we got a tiny bit of rain last night. Okay, you can dump it out. Um, getting the seeds ready to go. We're sending um, our IP seeds back that we didn't use, uh, soybeans. And uh, now we're gonna go get some bales on the field. We gotta feed the heifers. And I got my trusted cameraman with me. So we're just taking a break. We were walking all the way from over there with the uh, Masias to, we're gonna go over where the Deutz is. That's a far way for these little legs, eh? So we're gonna use a few, or we're gonna use these wagons to take back some bales for the heifers, obviously. We won't fill them all up, but still here anyway, and you gotta go back to the farm, so. Okay, we're just feeding the heifers. We just feed our heifers by throwing bales in front of them, and that's how they get fed. We used to mix everything in our mixer, but that was too time consuming and way too much diesel went through that. Hey guys, good morning. So I am hauling manure about an hour away from our place today. I already got the pump down there this morning. I'm unhooking the baler right now. I'm gonna get the manure spreader hooked onto here, and then we're gonna head down there and get that done. Hopefully we can get it finished today. Not 100% sure. made it worse. Maybe it'll be better when it dries. Just greasing it up. Fueling. Okay, it is time to head out. We're getting a little few sprinkles here, but we're gonna keep going until we get um, run out of the field. Okay, we are on the road again. Should be there in an hour, or a little less. Okay, we are here. I just gotta meet with someone here, and he's gonna show me where I'm hauling to. Okay, we got the pump greased, and we are gonna put it in. Okay, the pump's set up. Time to start hauling. Loading. So we got about 40 acres we gotta do, and it's in about 
10 fields. <laughs> so that'll give you the idea of the size of the field, so it's gonna take a little longer than one field, but doesn't matter, we'll get it done. This might take a little longer than I initially thought. First load. So I gotta go past this way and I gotta get turned around so I can come the other way. It's a little bit tight in here. really hoping to get finished up tonight but if it gets dark before I get finished I just the fields are so weird and small and uh, challenging um, and even with the lights lights are very good on this tractor but I still don't know if I'd be comfortable keeping hauling however I do expect that I'll get done before it gets dark but it's kind of hard to say how far I am because there's uh, 10 fields kind of spread out and they're all different sizes, so. Okay, well, the hole where I had the pump in is empty, so I gotta switch the pump around. I was hoping there'd be enough manure in there, so I didn't have to do this, but there wasn't. So I gotta put the pump from that hole into here, probably. Okay, I got it switched. Looks like there's a feed truck here loading the bins. Anyway, I got it switched. I didn't video much of that because it's just a crappy job. You know, my hands are, they smell like pigs. Anyway, okay, we should be done soon now. Look at this. <laughs> oh, it's pushing the ground out. Okay, we are on our last field of the day, and then we're done with this farm. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done hauling manure for the night. That was a much longer job than I expected. It's funny when the small fields and everything's rough, it just eats up your time. I think I'm going to pack up the pump before I head home so that uh, I can come in the morning and just pick it up quickly. Okay, it got too messy to finish. I don't have any gloves on, so when I come in the morning, I'll bring a pair of gloves. They'll be half dried up, and the rest will be easy to hook up and and bring back. It's just a bit after nine, so we'll get home around ten. Um, not too bad. It was a good day. Didn't have any problems. So there's another job done, I guess. So tomorrow we're gonna be getting ready to start haying, because on Wednesday. We're gonna be cutting a bunch of grass and finishing up our second cut. Engage blinkers. Blinkers engaged, over. Throttle up and we are ready for takeoff. I got about 45 minutes or so drive here ahead of me yet. So with that being said guys, I think that'll be the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the next one. And if you want to subscribe, you can go ahead and do that. Or you don't have to. Whatever you want. And uh, you can like it if you liked it. Share it to your friends. If, you have a, if you're watching this video and you're like, I got a friend that would like to see this. Go ahead and send it to them. Don't deprive them of this experience. And let me think, what are any other things? Oh, you can comment if you enjoyed it or if you have any comments or telling me what I'm doing wrong or right, whatever you want. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching.